Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will compare the 12,000 XP EG4 inverter to two other models. And I will also show you a simple carport that I built for myself. So you're welcome to watch this video and educate yourself. If you have a few questions, you could always leave a comment down below. Okay, let's talk about specs of this simple carport that I built. The poles I use six by six, three pine lumber. Six of them, three four by four, also three pine lumber. The rafters I built out of two by eight pine lumber. I used purlins two by four, 14 gauge for the rails where the solar panels mount on. And to fasten those solar panels onto the rails, I simply used short metal self-tapping screws. You have to make sure that you don't use screws that are too long. If they are too long, they will pinch into the solar panel. So be careful whenever you build a carport like this, when you use the same method that I did, then uh, just be careful about the length of the screws. So let's go inside the solar room and check out the inverter and those batteries. Okay, let's talk about specs of this uh, 12,000 XP EG4 inverter. The EG4 12,000 XP is a 48 volt split phase off-grid inverter slash charger, capable of utilizing 24 kilowatt of PV input and efficiently outputting 12 kilowatt of power while also charging your battery bank with the remaining 12 kilowatt of DC. Parallel up to 16 units for 192 kilowatt of output power and control multiple stations and units using the EG4 monitor center. 
It also it is a 120 slash 240 split phase inverter. Let's compare that inverter to two other inverters. For example, the 18K PV from EG4. The 18K PV has two major differences. The 18K PV is a hybrid inverter. On the other hand, this one is a off-grid inverter. And this one is an IP21 rated inverter. On the other hand, the 18K PV is a IP65 rated. Which makes this one a five years warranty from the manufacturer and the 18K PV is 10 years warranty. Let's go over those specs. EG4 18K PV Hybrid Inverter. The EG4 18K PV is a 48 volt split phase hybrid inverter slash charger capable of utilizing 18 kilowatt of PV and efficiently outputting 12 kilowatt of power while charging the battery bank. Parallel up to 10 units for 120 kilowatt of AC power. Control multiple stations and units using the new EG4 monitoring software. So there's another difference between this and the other one is this one you can parallel up to 16 units which makes it a 192 kilowatt system however the 18 kpv you can only parallel up to 10 units and yes the 18 kpv is also a 120 slash 240 split phase unit okay let's go over those differences between this one and the 6000 xp this one is an IP25 rated, just as the 6000 XP is. And this one has the five years warranty just as the 6000. But let's go over those specs. The 6000 XP is also a 120 slash 240 split phase, 48 volt DC off grid inverter slash charger, capable of utilizing eight kilowatt of PV and efficiently outputting 6 kilowatt of power while also charging the battery bank in parallel up to 16 units for a 96 kilowatt worth of output power and control multiple stations and units using the new EG4 monitoring software. So there is one small difference between two of the 6000 XP and one of this 12000 XP. So two 6000 XP together, they can only charge 16 kilowatt. And this one can charge 24 kilowatt. So this one has more than double the capacity than one six kilowatt. But the output of one of these is the same as two of the 6000 XP. Okay, let's go back to this one. Uh, you can probably not hear this one. But it's actually running. It is outputting 1439 watts at the moment and batteries are completely full. So this one I built in a small room with a small air conditioner. So it stays nicely dry and clean. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you did, feel free to leave a comment or if you have any questions always feel free to contact us. And if you're from Belize and you're looking for a solar system, we are here to help you through that process. Bye bye.